Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today we are picking tomatoes. We just got done picking the big high tunnel and now we are picking the small high tunnel. And for the, for the ones who watched my video of me planting a row of peppers in the high tunnel, well today I'm gonna address that row of high peppers and how I am the worst farmer I know. Alrighty, so start off talking about this high tunnel. This one is right behind the greenhouse. This is actually a 60 foot by 20 foot. And we planted uh, four rows of tomatoes and then one row of peppers and as you guys could tell, the wheat just kind of got out of control. I never got around to staking these tomatoes, so it's already too late. There's, we've already been st started harvesting fruit. I planted this high tunnel the first week of May, and I started the big one the first week of March. I mean, I transplanted in them. The planter started uh, way before that. So I, we just got really busy in the orchard, planting with the blackberries, all the other stuff going on. You know, it's just a million things goes on in springtime. And I never got this, uh, this high tunnel finished off right, and you could tell, the tomatoes are just flopping everywhere, but real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the quality of these tomatoes still. Here we go. Just starting to turn here. So the quality's still really good. Real good, nice tomatoes, but it's just, they're just flopping on the ground. And good thing that I put this plastic down over here. As you guys can tell, the white plastic is underneath here. So the plant, the tomatoes aren't touching the soil. So that we're still good for the, to, to sell those as for the food safety. But I want to come on here and talk about our bell pepper or a mini bell pepper that we planted and as you, can see, as you guys can see here they're just not looking too good so what happened in here to the peppers is i planted them the first week of may and then i was fertilizing really hard i was getting them i was really hoping to pick a good crop of peppers out of here and the tomatoes they look fine but on tomatoes i did some research and they don't the white flies and the aphids don't affect them that much but then on the show peppers, the aphids just came through and destroyed them. I mean, it was just, as you guys can see here, this is just destroyed by aphids right now. And the white flies kind of did some damage, but not so much. Just the aphids kind of killed them off. And they, the plants did set, set some fruit, but I just never got around to staking the plants. I did spray a few insecticides. And I think what I, the insecticides I sprayed was Mustang Max, which is a broad spectrum. And I think what, I, what happened is I killed off the... Um, the good insects like the ladybugs and whatnot and the aphids just kept growing and growing and growing and then i went to a farmer's market and talked to one of our uh, friends he makes his own like homemade uh bug repellent kind of thing he uses neem oil garlic leaves and all kinds of other onions just kind of blends them in there and i did try them on here and it didn't really seem to work but that stuff stank so bad i couldn't work in here for <laughs> the next two or three days and it was just yeah, I haven't had a good experience growing bell peppers at all, especially this is our first, and maybe this is my first time planting the peppers in the high tunnel. And these are an heirloom, so maybe that's why the aphids really destroyed them that bad, and the white flies, but then again, I gotta, it's my first time, so I, and now, now I know what to do and what not to do. It's, it was a good thing that I planted them so early in here because the peppers that, that, I, that should have been harvested would have been early peppers. And right now at the farmer's market, there's not that many pe vendors with peppers. They're just starting to starting to produce right now. And this these should have been ready about the middle of June. Our peppers in the field, they, they're actually doing really well. The plants are growing nicely. But in the field, the, the aphids don't really seem to get them because it, they get wet from the rain. And they're in the... Um, they're in the uh, in the field so the plants don't really get hit that bad by aphids but under here and they never get rained on so the, the aphids just kind of destroyed them and i guess we won't have peppers this year for sale but tomatoes tomatoes are actually re looking really 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 good and healthy not healthy but the, the fruit is the fruit is looking very good we've already picked quite a bit out of here just look at that beautiful number one tomatoes here but this row of peppers just got destroyed just got done picking tomatoes. We have one, two, three, four, eight is four times eight is 32, 33 half bushel boxes. So 33 times 30, that's close to another thousand pounds of tomatoes. And uh, I was, when I was picking, I was kind of, uh, I forgot to mention early on is to, to, for the ones who don't know what an aphid is. And an aphid is just an itty bitty insect that eats on the, you know what, let's just ask Dr. Google right here. What is an aphid? Here's the definition of aphid, a minute bug that feeds by sucking sap from plants. It reproduces rapidly, often producing live young without mating, and may live in large colonies that cause extensive damage to crops. You got that right, Extent extensive damage to crops? My old peppers is dead. 
My goodness. So some of the things that I learned about this row of peppers in the high tunnel, you know what? It is what it is now. And I actually, the sap that the, the, the aphids eat, they secrete or they, they, they poop it out pretty much. That's what they do. And that sap gets sticky and it actually does not affect the fruit at all. It's just, it's just not sticky. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys. Hold on. Just a second. Just a second. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it right here. So this is a pepper, a ripe pepper, and this is that sap that it secretes out of its, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know. And uh, it wipes down pretty good, but then again, to have a healthy fruit, you got to have a healthy plant. And if the plant it doesn't look very healthy, then it's not going to put out a healthy fruit. So these are these are the bottom fruits that were um, that the plant put out. But then the rest of the top ones, they just kind of, the plant is just pretty much dead for this. So let me just go ahead and try one of these. I haven't, first time even trying one of these. I don't know how they taste. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure, sweet. Yeah. Not a bad pepper. Pretty good stuff. Mini bitty lunchbox peppers. So, that's what aphids did. Kind of destroyed my pepper crop. It is what it is now. <clears throat> Cho <clears throat> I'm choking here so i think next year i'm just gonna grow tomatoes instead of the peppers i tried to roll cucumbers last year in a high tunnel and that one right there and it did pretty good so instead of the peppers next year i might even just try to roll cucumbers in here just stake them up from up top and i think i'll have better luck than trying to grow peppers but overall they're still pretty good if you wash them up nicely but i'm not gonna sell these at all so it's just a waste so I forgot to mention that there is a few insecticides to spray for aphids in particular in high tunnels and stuff but the problem with that they have a seven day PHI and a PHI is a is a pre-harvest interval meaning that it's once it's applied once you applicate the chemical on the on the actual plant the 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 actual chemicals is are active and then after seven days the the active chemicals die off so then they are safe to harvest so if I did spray the, um, the chemicals to kill the aphids, it would probably drift onto the tomatoes. And I don't want to take that risk to not be able to harvest the tomatoes because tomatoes are, are one of our main cash crops here on the farm. And the uh, royal peppers, just for me out of curiosity, to try peppers in the high tunnel. So it's just live and learn. I did, like I told you guys earlier, I did spray, but it was just, you know, it is what it is now. So this is today's tomato picking. We have, this is a thousand pounds, the tomatoes are still looking good, like that. And this is some of that white flies on the peppers themselves right there, on the peppers. Tomatoes, actual tomatoes right here. So it's just, and I want to show you guys on these yellow peppers, you can see really good. Cause so that's the sap that it secretes out of the aphids, secrete on the tomato plants. But tomato plants don't really seem to have a big problem with it because of the actual, the actual fruit on them is still good. So that wipes off really easy. And it washed off pretty good. So, thousand pounds of pepper tomatoes out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one of the leaves here of the pepper plant. If I can get to focus there on the leaf and the aphids there. So that's the sap that it secretes or is eaten. And there's actually bugs over there that it's not really zooming in too well there. Can't even. Anyway, those tiny bugs there just kind of eat and destroy the plants. There's actually a few light ones moving around in there, so it's just that's how the majority of the pepper plants are looking, and they're all black and stuff. Disgusting little critters. So now we gotta take the tomatoes inside the warehouse. I'm gonna turn on the skisher here real quick and take them in there. We're probably gonna grate them tonight and put them in that cooler we have. So gotta hit that unlock button. Take them in the warehouse. y'all i think that's gonna be pretty much it for today we actually got them picking tomatoes and i explained to you guys how our peppers went so that you know we learn every day as farmers we kind of have to try new things out so this is my problem my first and last time trying to grow peppers in the high tunnel 
it was a quick quick little experiment here just to have enough to sell but you live and learn every day and there's uh no turning back now you know in theory everything should work perfectly fine but in reality you know it's just it's reality everybody gets hints of reality and it's just it is what it is. We can't change anything about it. So that is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you guys want to like this video and um, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like my content and then it recommends me to other um, other pages so then I get more followers, more subscribers, and then hopefully I can potentially start making money off YouTube. But that's another topic for another time. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the little, little bell notification bell because it comes to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.